Hey guys, welcome back to my next reaction uh, to Delicious and Dungeon, episode 14. Ooh, it's good to be back. Uh, it's been about a month since I last uploaded. Been a hectic time, started a new job. And you know how it is, when you're starting a new job, trying to learn everything, mind getting overloaded, didn't have really the energy to come up and watch and then have like a good reaction outside of, unless you just want me to sit me just sitting there doing this, Ooh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but now things are starting to settle down. I finally have energy again. So other than that, I'm ready to hit the ground running again. So let's go ahead and continue my first reaction back with Delicious Seduction episode 14. Where we last left off um, was Phelan was essentially taken back by the taken by the uh, Mad Mage. So some dark magic that like it seems like that the Mad Mage has similar magic that Marcel has, which that was pretty crazy uh, last episode or two when we <laughs> saw the true, like, true abilities of Marcel in action. That's pretty interesting, but I'm curious to see where that goes. I feel like there's going to be a tie there with that blood magic that they did. We also saw the dragon meat returning, which is interesting to me. Like, the Mad Mage seemingly is in charge of the dungeon but like maybe like controls it i don't know i'm just spitballing here but we'll have to see but seems like the the mad mage has like almost a reality bending control of this dungeon or at least it's monsters for it to turn marcel into what marcel seemed like they were, i don't know they were doing something he was turning marcel into something we'll have to see what what happens but yeah, so we got that happening. Mar Phelan's or Phelan's gone. Um, Phelan was transformed, not Marcel. My bad. But um, yeah, we'll have to see what happens there. Um, Chilchuck actually convinced Laos to go back and regroup, which is actually pretty interesting. I didn't think that. Uh, <laughs> uh, after everything they went through, I was surprised to see uh, Laos would be able to come to reason on that. So, that's good, but essentially it feels like this is the actual beginning to the story now, is what it almost feels like. We found our main villain, which is this Mad Mage, and this Mad Mage now has some bigger plans with Phelan. It, I think Phelan's ghost powers are what the Mad Mage wants considering the spirits are kind of on louses in their side like they're not all for what's going on so i don't know we'll have to see but uh other than that let's quit talking and let's go ahead and continue this reaction okay starting in three two where's my mouse one let's go where's my mouse there it is Oh, so we get a new opening then. <laughs> What's interesting about this show is like it knows how to like stay this lighthearted like cooking stuff, but then there's been a couple times now where they just kind of go head deep into some like serious dark shit, and that's actually like the dichotomy's pretty huge at times up to this point. Most of the time it's this like lighthearted stuff, but then like those last episode or two. There's some pretty dark stuff going on. There's a lot of characters, though. But it all centers around these four, so I'm wondering if this is, like, going to stay the squad. Like, they might not add any other members. I was thinking that they might add some as they go along, but we'll have to see. <laughs> She's passed out. <laughs> oh, okay. We are coming back to these guys. Good. I want to learn more about him. Okay, so they were able to figure out it was them. 
I wonder if these two groups are going to join up or not. Or work together. <laughs> so far, these guys, both these guys got their ass whipped. Or th this group's got their ass whipped both times. Well, that was quick. She likes him. <laughs> so, but they are a bigger group. I'm wondering if they're like all more rookie adventurers to where they're not as skilled as like Laos and their group are. Because it seems like Laos and Marcel and Chilchuck are more like in a... They're a higher level, right? If you put it in like game or D and D perspectives. <laughs> the blatant, <laughs> the blatant crush character. Fog setting in. Are they gonna get wiped out again? <laughs> Come on, you guys need to actually win one here. hell is that? Doesn't look like a normal fish, man. Got it. So it's just tricking them into fighting each other. <laughs> okay, that's a quick development. Oh, that... <laughs> so to her, it looked like she got made, kissed by a monster. <laughs> I was about to say, did that break it? But no. Oh, it's these guys. Okay. Interesting. So he's smarter than... He's pretty smart. I mean, he was able to deduce all this and figure it out on his own. So he's not bad. Even though they fell for a couple of blatant... <laughs> pretty low-level stuff earlier with the bugs and the fishmen, but... There's no way he's going to comply. <laughs> That's what I thought. There was no way he was going to comply. He's pretty intense. Look at this dude. Kaburu's pretty cool. Yo! So you said you have a lot of experience killing people. Okay. Huh, I'm... <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm liking this guy more and more. <laughs> She's sitting there twisting her hair. Okay, okay. He's pretty cool. I want to know more. I wonder what his grand scheme is because it seems like he has a, a definite goal in mind. Interesting. Okay. I mean, it makes sense because people will start leaving and then monsters will become unchecked and then spill out. That makes sense. It's just human nature to ignore or, you know, to move on. Once they've done everything they want to do, makes sense. Are they going to get cooking? I mean, it seems like they have normal food. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, we're getting more here about the world and the bigger dynamics that play on the top side. <laughs> oh, they ran into them earlier. Yeah. Are you saying you're not a student or you are a student? I mean, if she knows that, that could mean she was a student herself, maybe? So they're well known. The Toted siblings is what they're known as. <laughs> he's quite deductive. I'm, I'm learning. He's pretty. De he's pretty uh, quick, quick on the uptake. He was really, he's like a detective, like he just read, figured all this shit out and got it right. <laughs> Chilchuk isn't well known, I guess. I don't know, the way he said it made it seem like Chilchuk isn't as well known. We're getting more about Marcel's group and this group here in this episode. Yeah, we need to learn more about him. Like, he loves Phelan, apparently, but he left the group. So, that's trying to save Phelan. So, I, I don't know.
動事件かと思ったけど面白いことが起こる予感がするよ東電兄弟のパーティーだといいなだって俺はずっと前からあいつらの化けの皮が剥がれる瞬間を待ってたんだなんか人間でもはぁ、はあ、?What? So, his bigger thing is to kind of change up leadership on this island, I guess. And he sees that throughout accomplishing or, you know, conquering this dungeon. <laughs> it's the Kraken coming at him. <laughs> Those fish, I saw the Kraken. No. Okay, let's see if they can win this one and not get taken out. Ninja. Oh, here he is. <laughs> And I think that's what he always did, too, is do the final blow. They all have, like, a Japanese aesthetic. I mean, they're all Easterners, I guess is what they said. It is nice to see like the the, per, the perspectives of these other groups and learning what they're after and more more about the other characters. I like the song that they chose for this. Like this is like a good song that you could put in and just chill out to. I guess that's the so they call him Lord. Well, we haven't met these people. Bunch of elves. But uh, about that uh, other dude, the Easter guy, he, his group, they were calling him Lord, like his party members, and they're all women, and they all seem to be Easterners. So I wonder if they're all like his retainers or something. And he's just in love with Phelan. <laughs> so he's dragging him along on a mission with him. Okay, so there was episode 14. That was a good episode. We got a lot of perspective on uh, uh, the other group. <laughs> the group that... I'm going to have to remember all of their names because now they're probably going to become bigger members of this story. Or, you know, bigger... We're going to see them a lot more, I think, is what's going to happen. So, yeah, interesting group. Uh... I wanted to see more. Both times we saw them in the past, they kind of just get wiped out and then uh, <laughs> they save them. Uh, but anyway, we finally get to learn more about each of them and their dynamics and a little bit more about the main dude's goal. He seems to be a very interesting character. He's very... Per uh, he's very... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, I can't think of the word. But he can... He seems to be able to see all the little things. He seems to be putting all the puzzle pieces together. And he's surprisingly accurate. Um, we'll have to see what, where his story and their group is going to play in the long haul. 
I doubt they're going to become major villains or anything for them. I think, if anything, they'll come around to becoming friends with them. Um, but he doesn't necessarily trust them very much, just due to, I guess, how they act. Uh, uh, he doesn't like the way they do things with them, you know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll probably get more on that. Uh, I'll have to rewatch it again, too, and see if there's something I missed in what he was saying. But um, we'll have to see how that dynamic plays out. But their group is interesting, and they have ran into both of the left the party members that left. They ran into the first group, revived them with Namari. They uh, met her, and then now they've met with... Uh, uh, is it met Shiro? Is his name Shiro or Kuro? Crap, I'm going to have to look at it again. But uh, they met with him, and him and his party of, I'm assuming his retainers are after Phelan. <laughs> as soon as he said Phelan's name, he's like, oh? Because he was acting like cool and like, ooh, I'm so edgy and cool and serious and gritty. And they're all like, oh, master, right? And, <laughs> and then he just says her name once. He's like, huh? Huh? <laughs> That's funny. But, uh, yeah, good stuff there. We even learned a little bit more about the group themselves just based off him talking about them, uh, what he knows. Like, he's been watching them for a long while, so interesting. But other than that, it's good to be back. Uh, expect more reactions in the future. All the series that I'm doing reactions on right now, I'm going to be continuing until they finish, so don't worry on that. So... Other than that, uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you at the next episode. See ya. Bye.